If you clicked on this video, chances are you're looking for a way to deal with your anxiety. And I get it, anxiety can feel so overwhelming and sometimes it seems like there's just no escape from it. But here is the good news, that's complete bullshit. There is an absolute way to escape from it and that's what we're going to be tackling on this video today. I want to share with you some simple steps you can take today that hopefully can help with these you know, anxious thoughts that you've been battling with for so long now. In this video, I will try the best in my ability to walk through some simple steps, some practical strategies that you can start using right now to help you relieve to some of this anxiety you've been dealing with. And before we begin, I first want to let you know that this is something that a lot of people deal with and you're not alone on this. And it's okay, you know, to be exactly where you are right now. The goal isn't to eliminate all of the anxiety instantly no matter how great that would be but the reality is we need to learn how to manage it you know to find peace in the middle of it and ultimately take back control over how you feel so without further ado let's dive into this video today and here are some of my simple steps to overtake overcome conquer anxiety step one to overcome anxiety is to ground yourself in the present the first step is to ground yourself in the present. Anxiety usually lives in the future, actually. That's what makes us so worried about things that haven't even happened yet or might never even happen at all. One way to bring yourself back to the here and now is through a technique called the 54321 method. Take a moment and notice five things you can see around you, four things what you can physically feel, three things of what you can hear, two things of what you can smell, and one thing that you can taste with. This exercise ultimately helps shift your mind away from the anxious thoughts and grounds you in the present moment. It's ultimately kind of like a quick reset button to the brain, reminding you that you are safe and that you are here and right now in this moment, you are going to be okay. The second step to overcome anxiety is breathe deeply and slowly. Now, I know this sounds really simple, and I'm sure you heard it a lot, but deep intentional breathing is, you know, one of the most powerful tools we can, you know, use to calm our body and minds. Anxiety tends to make our breathing shallow and quick, which singles our brain that we are in the danger zone, even when we're not. So just give this a try next time. Breathe slowly, count to four, hold it for about four seconds, and then simply just exhale. Repeat this a few times, and then slowly but surely, you will bring yourself a little bit more back to the present. And as you breathe, remind yourself in each inhale that you're drawing in the calm, and for each exhale, you're releasing the tension. You could do this anytime, anywhere, and it's just, you know, a simple but effective way to feel a bit more back of, in control of yourself again the third tactic to overcome anxiety is challenge your thoughts the next step is to simply challenge your thoughts anxiety loves to blow things you know out of proportion maybe you're worrying about something that could go wrong tomorrow or replaying the past mistakes over and over and over again when you feel these thoughts coming in you need to ask yourself you know is this thought helping me or hurting me you can try to reframe your thoughts. For instance, instead of thinking, you know, what if I messed up? You can say, I've prepared for this and I'll just do the best I can in my ability. Or instead of saying, I can't handle this, say, I may not have all the answers, but with time, I'll figure it all out. Our minds are powerful and sometimes just the smallest shift in our thinking strategy can break the cycle of excitement and give us a whole new perspective maybe if if it's on life entirely the fourth technique to overcome anxiety is find healthy distractions when we're in the middle of the anxious spiral you know redirecting your focus can most definitely help 
This could be doing something that you enjoy like reading a book, going for a walk, listening to music, or trying a hobby you love. Sometimes anxiety needs us to step away from what we're worrying about and find something that brings us joy and peace. Now the reality is distractions won't solve everything, but they can give you a much needed break from whatever is going on that's causing that anxious energy and allowing to just to reset. Plus doing something that you enjoy can remind you that there's, you know, so much more to life than the things you're anxious about. And that's just the reality and truth. A fifth technique to overcome anxiety is connect with someone you trust. Next, simply just connect with someone you trust. Anxiety can feel isolating, but talking about it with a friend or a family member or even a therapist if it needs to be can help you feel a lot less alone. Sometimes just saying your worries out loud, you know, helps relieve the weight of them. And often you'll find, you know, that you know, people who really care about you can offer insight, resilience, or simply just a listening ear. When you open up to someone, it allows yourself to, you know, let go of some of that, you know, bottle up anxiety. So don't be afraid to reach out to someone you trust. And, you know, you're not meant to carry this burden alone. The sixth and final tactic from me to overcome anxiety, and my favorite one is turn to prayer and meditation. If faith is something that's a part of your life and you haven't tried prayer yet, my friend, you're missing out. It's as simple as that. Prayer can be such an incredible source of peace in times of anxiety. It's a chance to bring your fears and your worries to God's attention and ask for him that you just need some peace. When we pray, we remind ourselves that, you know, we're not in control, but uh, we have a God that's so loving, you know, that he can be such a huge relief by just, you know, surrendering our, all of our, you know, fears and sins, anxiety, etc., to him. Meditation too, you know, is a very powerful tool. You can focus on comforting phrase or scripture. The more we allow moments of stillness and faith into our lives, the more we can find peace in the midst of the you know, middle of chaos. And the more we practice on stillness, you might get a surprise and hear a small voice, or if you're lucky enough, a audible voice from God himself. So before we wrap off the video, let's just do a quick conclusion, final thoughts, and that is to, you need to remember that you're not alone in this journey. So ultimately, I hope that, you know, these six techniques or steps, you know, or some sort of relief today and hopefully you could resonate with. And remember, overcoming anxiety is a journey and it takes time. But each small step you take, you know, brings you closer to a place of peace. You're not alone on this journey or battle and you don't have to do it all perfectly. Anxiety doesn't define you and it doesn't have to take control of your life. I want you to know that it's totally okay to feel anxious sometimes we are all human and we have all of our battles the important thing is that you are here and you know you're looking for a way to move forward and that alone is a victory and i am proud of you for that thank you so much and god bless you for taking a few moments out of your day checking out this video i pray that you know this video is hopefully helpful and these six techniques are hopefully helpful there's obviously many many more out there but these are my personal six i love to share with you if this video hopefully helps out feel free to give it a, a thumbs up and if you want to continue the conversation that's what the comment sections are for feel free to share your personal stories or you know if you want feedback input advice or any you know suggestion for a future you know topic video i'm more than happy to listen read and respond if there's one thing i want you to take away from this video is to remember that you have the strength to face this battle step by step at a time so just let's support each other on this journey and finding our purpose i'm adam representing team sos in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night god bless you stay safe be safe i'm signing off peace